Mason, we're in your living room here in Chelsea, Quebec. Becky, I want to know, well, who are you? I mean, I, I clearly I know who you are, and you're an artist, and a, or a painter, and a paddler, and an instructor, and a very famous daughter. Um, what's it like being you? Well, that's a neat question, kind of an interesting question to, uh, to ask, because I, I just think of myself doing a lot of things. I'm a creative artist. That's what I say when people ask me what I am. But there's other lots of hats that I wear in life. I, I'm, I'm a watercolorist. I love that. I love the creative side of canoeing. Just doing all those gorgeous strokes. I find that very creative. And um, filmmaking now. I've done two films, actually three films. I love teaching. I love sharing the, the knowledge with people, how, how you go canoeing, how you go canoeing efficiently. And people's eyes light up when they see that, when they see that they can make the canoe move more efficiently without much effort. And that's what I love to see. Before we came here, we posted on Facebook and we asked one of people a question and we said, um, how do we phrase this? If you could go back in time and paddle with anyone, who would that be? And more than half of the people responded and they said, Bill Mason, of course, that's your dad. Um, who would you, if you could go back in time, who would you paddle with? I think I'd paddle with my dad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I, uh, I miss my dad. And um, some people say, well, is it a bit hard following in his footsteps? And I say, no, because it's really special. I have some characteristics of his, and I'm, go I'm good with that. When I was 18, I found it a bit difficult um, handling the whole... He had a lot of fame coming in, and he was having dinner with the Queen. He was traveling here and traveling there. Everybody was phoning, and people would run up to me saying, You're Bill Mason's daughter. I can't believe I'm meeting you because you're Bill Mason's daughter. And going, Yeah, but I'm actually a person too in my own right. And um, when 19 rolled around, I, I really... Uh, it, it, I came in on my own, and I said, I can either divorce myself from this legacy or I can accept it and build on it. And that's what I do. I'm building on his skills that he taught me. Becky, you just got back from a European tour. Um, how, do you, how do you go about setting yourself up to do a, world, a European tour? I, um, when I canoe, I dream a lot when I'm out canoeing. And I'm going, well, you know, it's really beautiful canoeing on Meech Lake. But I like to share, um, share my skill, share my love of canoeing. So I sent out an email, just went on a form, songofthepaddle.uk.com, and uh, it's a nice uh, European form. And I said, I'd like to come to five countries. <clears throat> Is there any paddling clubs that would like to invite me? And within a day, all five paddling clubs piped up, the Netherlands, Belgium, uh, France, Germany, and uh, Italy. And I said, Great. Was it like teaching an Italian? I loved, I loved the Italians. Italians, all they knew was Bill Mason's Path of the Paddle. They'd studied it and it was really charming. Uh, I do teach a lot of people that have just learned from Bill Mason, my dad's book. And it, it is quite charming because some of the interpretations they get a little interesting things, but anyways, they are so fixated. Because, because they're reading it in English well, and they, translating? They thought the pictures? only canoe was a prospector right. in, in the world because Bill Mason said so. So they follow that to the T. And then uh, they're the J. They had the J down pat. Absolutely gorgeous. 
because that's what Bill Mason said. So I think it's so charming that um, I come in and, and they, just, they just love canoeing. And, and they're going, well, um, you know, teach us. I'm going, yeah, but I don't know any Italian. <laughs> right. So yeah. you just have to act it out and, and teach visually and... Yeah, it was a good stretch. I taught how to do pantomime and canoeing. And it's, canoeing is a universal language. It really is. And, and I really learned that on the European trip because I was going through all the language, Flemish and, and uh, French and Italian. And the, uh, I, in, in my style, I love the traditional punch. And that's what really makes me excited to share that beautiful punch because um, our modern way of canoeing is a lot of Brent work but my dad taught me the traditional uh dial it's really nice to share so uh spingy spingy i got that down and uh everybody i was going spingy spingy and i'm not violent and everybody's laughing spingy 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 so it's really cute you were there to launch your new dvd can you tell me a little bit about that project um the the dvd was a fun um fun way to so this is just i should be sure it's the advanced classic solo dvd yeah, my advanced classic solo DVD. It was wonderful to launch it over in Europe because the excitement there of me coming and they'd already got the, the original one, which just covers the basics. And then this advanced one is all the other strokes that I didn't even touch on in the basics. So, Becky, what are some of the advanced classic solo strokes that you didn't cover last time but are on this DVD? Um, there's the Canadian gorgeous stroke, underwater recovery J, essentially, Indian stroke, and um, the Northwood that really hasn't been covered uh, well in video, so that was really exciting uh, to put that down in, in, uh, in film. Uh, then I segued into the uh, side slip strokes, so the beautiful sculling draws, which work so well underwater, um, and then the running strokes would I, uh, when you're under power. And then after that, I uh, did some heritage stories about some of the strokes. And then uh, I did a, the history, in the the history of, of the, the strokes. Yeah, just some personal stories that I uh, really feel strongly about how the strokes uh, affected me while I was uh, learning them and how other people, uh, some of the stories there. So people find that rather interesting. And then the, um, the circle strokes, the pivot strokes which are really fun. Just a uh, lot of the underwater circle strokes. And... You mentioned earlier um, to me that this DVD wasn't just the strokes, if it was taking the strokes and working them into going somewhere or more practical um, use, yeah? Yeah, the, um, uh, I broke the film into uh, four sort of parts. One was an introduction, just telling people why, why do you need this stroke? And so I covered that well while I was just doing them. And I'd be paddling like in a beautiful scene, really a uh, beautiful wide scene with a mist rising or whatever. And then uh, I would break it down into uh, in detail now. And then I would do the points. And then at the very end, I would, uh, for each of these strokes, and then the last part was additional information. So why I love the stroke, why people, um, think these are so special. So every stroke that I covered, 18 of them, I broke them down into four little sections and it really worked well. They were sort of encapsulated and then I moved on to another stroke. It's been 11 years since that first film. What's changed, not just with your teaching, but uh, uh, there's a lot of underwater shots. How has that changed the DVD? What a way you can teach on it, maybe? Yeah, my, my first original movie, I had underwater shots. I dragged um, uh, um, Jerry, my editor, around Meech Lake on a rope with a scuba diving uh, apparatus, and, and it, it just didn't work. Um, the technical side, the camera blew up uh, right when I was about to edit. So this one, I was bound to determined to get the underwater shots because it's just so beautiful to see underneath and above. It must be a good teaching. So much happens under the water that people don't realize. Yeah, I've had so many comments, the sculling draw, they're going, I now understand what the blade is doing because they get to see right underneath. And also I, I wanted to inset it in nature. Okay, we're gonna go for a paddle. Where, where are you taking me? I'm taking you to my favorite place to paddle at Meech Lake. It's, uh, 
it's one of my favorite places and people say, well, don't you get bored? But there's always something new. Um, we're going to go out when it's just a little bit more chilly than midsummer, but it's pretty. It's, it's so quiet and uh, the water is, is crystal clear, not as much as Lac Fair. That's why I went up to Lac Fair to shoot. But Meech Lake has is, is got a lot of nice history to it. It's where I grew up. So I love it there. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. So we've driven about 10 minutes from Becky's house and we're out here on Meech Lake, just below um, uh, well, your mom's place, I guess. Yeah. Becky, you teach here on Meech Lake often, if, if not exclusively. How come? I just about teach every night. Um, I, I invite people up for canoe lessons and uh, for two hours, and they come up to Meech Lake. It's a perfect area. So friendly, and I've grown up on Meech Lake, so I know it really well, and we have a great time. What would somebody learn in a typical two-hour course with you? Um, for typical uh, course is it depends on your skill level. So you, so, you assess people initially? And well, I ask them. Have you ever canoed before? Right. They say, I've never canoed before. I've never been on that's, water. That's well, crazy, then, of I course. Think that, I think I'd want 20 years before I'd come and take a class with you. But you teach beginners, right? I like teaching beginners because there's no bad habits. And you teach them right from square one. And they're so good because they get to see the thing right away. Um, what happens to the canoe? Uh, all the, the things get shown up right away, so they, the learning curve is really high. So it's really fun teaching basic people, but it's, it's fun teaching more advanced. So you're a really advanced paddler, so we're going to step right so you in. Of, you can get rid of all my bad habits right There now. you go, there you go. We traveled all over Europe on, uh, and when we, we came to the UK in the symposium, Reed for the first time suggested we give a prize for the first Dave wave that was accomplished. So the person that could do a Dave wave. The first person that could do a Dave wave. Oh, I feel like I'm getting wet sometimes. <laughs> and I, I've never had this happen, but I had five flips in less than a minute. Okay. You got the circle going, really nice. And watch the day wave. That's the day wave. That's okay, pretty Scott, good. Let's see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's what it's instruction all about. I'm inspiring you. You didn't build from the nothing to the day wave. You basically want me to get wet right now. Thank you very much, Becky, for inviting us into your home and most of all taking me out on the water uh, and, and with your DVD project. Good luck with that. How do people find it? Where can we get the DVD? Well, they can uh, go on my website, ridecanoes.ca, and it's easy peasy. You just click on the link and you buy it. Well, it seems pretty great. Yeah, it's great. It was great paddling with you, Scott. Thank you very much. This is Scott McGregor with Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. Yeah, sure. Hey, so tell me about. Stop, stop. Don't lean away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it feels very, very <laughs> aggressive. That's not my head. Whoa, what you doing? <laughs> I'm going to turn on a little pride. Oh, nice work. Let's try that again.